In this video, we will see about Boolean variables in C-sharp. These Boolean variables are considered the most simplest type in C-sharp because it can take only two values, namely true or false. Note that we can assign only in a slower case in case of C-sharp. The true and false has to be in a lower case. Hence, these kind of cases or statements are not valid. In C-sharp, the Boolean variables are defined using the keyword bool, so B-O-O-L, followed by the variable name say for example b then we can assign by default say true or false as you can see the value is in all in lower case similarly we can have true note that the other representation is you can just declare and then you can assign it in the next line or even it can be say false now let's see what happens if we print this let me delete one Okay, bool b equals false. Let's go ahead and print this value. Console.write line b. Now let's go to the terminal and then dot net run. So ideally we expect the value the false to be printed. Same way, so you assign as true and then again you go and run. You'll see the value being printed as true. Now similarly we can use the console.read line to read the Boolean variables and then assign to the boolean variable console dot read line let's assign it to the variable b equals now you can see that its compiler is giving an error telling that cannot implicitly convert string to boot because the read line returns string by default so for example when we input true from console how can we make it to appear as boolean variable for that we can use something called conversion bool dot parse so basically this function accepts a type string and once you pass this over here let me close this so it means that this bool dot parse accepts a string and it converts either to true or false depending on what the input it has received so in our case we are just redirecting the console.read line to this function. It is going to convert into boolean and then it's getting assigned to b. And then we can go ahead and print this value. Console.write line b. So to be more specific, we can console.write line before assignment is true. And then we can copy. Then we can say after assignment. Okay, now let's, let's go ahead and print this. Okay, clear dot net run. So before assignment, the value is true as expected. Then it's waiting for the input from us. Say we give false. Then we have after assignment, we print false. Similarly, let me want to show you one more thing. So initially it's going to print true. Let's say I'm going to type everything in caps. Still, it's going to store in a way what we expect. One of the key point to note here is that when we assign true or false, it will be in lowercase. Whereas when you print, it prints the first alphabet with caps. Also, while giving an input to this bool.pos, this string can be in any case sensitive format. Either it can be lowercase or it can be an uppercase or can be a combination of it. This function is going to convert this, this string to a boolean format and it's going to store as true or false. And that's all for this video. If you want to learn more about C Sharp Basics, enroll for free in my C Sharp Basics starter course by clicking the link in the description below.